ten in days. Okay. It's the date that they are using is erroneous. That's why the the prediction is not wrong. So I friends, like two million years or more. It's maybe more. It's not to be only two million younger guys coming in into the picture. Like the, the reason why this discovery is very important is one, we had no fossil record prior to this one, which tells something about the origin <coughs> of the African apes, chimpanzees, and gorillas. So what we have now is the earliest gorilla on Earth at around 10 million years. Second, we used to believe, not believe, based on genetic information, DNA studies and molecular studies, the splits between chimpanzees and human line on one side, and the gorilla line on the other side used to be assumed it happened around 8 million years ago. But based on this new information, if we find the earliest gorilla, trace of the earliest gorilla at 10 million years, that means that molecular based hypothesis is falsified. What, what it means is it is no more considered a valid information. The split has to happen before 10 million years ago. That means that information has to be adjusted in every textbook. Used by tenfold. That means you have more stories to hear. Caves are lake deposit, but there are some sediments, uh, channel deposit. The surface scrape is just a very light excavation, just only the top part of the. Uh, the soil is leaving one of the best fossil hunters perhaps in the water. He spotted a finger bone in that day, just about 13 minutes after the first Horophistus uh, abyssinicus. This is uh, our, have initiated us to go and do more geology take over and will show us uh, as to what happened in 2007. At least in that piece is with eight moments or another for our studies. Next slide. <coughs> do a CT scan analysis of the, of the fossil. Because 